Hello everyone, welcome back to the new video. It's me, Namrita here. Hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to look put together or classy without doing much. You don't have to follow thousand different steps every day or you don't have to put a lot of effort in your day-to-day -day life but still you can look good and stand out so today i gathered some guts to show you an outfit idea as well and also i'm gonna be accessorizing that in my way so if you're interested please keep on watching but if you're new on this channel then please make sure to subscribe first so i'm gonna be starting off with makeup which is my Filled. I love to do makeup so if you're new here then let me tell you I share lots of makeup looks and review of different makeup products this is something I don't really do very often like the outfit thing or accessories I don't share those things much because I don't think I'm a pro at it yet so yeah this is all about today's video so make sure you subscribe and please hit the like button at the end so at first I'm going to be doing a little bit of skincare followed by makeup but it won't be that full on makeup look. I won't be doing everything but I can tell you it would accentuate your features very well at the end and um, yeah it will also cover up all the flaws I have. So I got a lot of requests uh, for doing how to use concealer to look flawless so i think it, i'm gonna be covering that in this video so if you really want to know that keep on watching well i'm starting off with my brows like always and this is something i can never skip so at first i'm using a brow glue by nyx it's their newly launched product it's an instant glue you don't have to activate it with any liquid i think that's a great product it was very much needed and also this brow pen from nyx it's their newly launched product as well and i think uh, it's a great dupe of the anastasia brow pen this one works exactly the same way uh, and uh, it will give you a very nice fuller look without looking very heavy so if you want that micro bladed effect you can definitely give this two products a try and again this is an obvious tip for me i like to use a concealer to carve out my brows but again i can uh, tell you that if you have fuller brows naturally you can skip this tip you can just stick to a brow gel just to set your brow hairs and that would be it and now i'm going to be prepping the skin with this pixie vitamin c priming oil although it feels very light on skin but at the end it will give you a very light tacky finishing so this is why makeup sits very well on this product so i like to use it underneath the makeup although i'm gonna do very light makeup today and uh, whenever you are using anything with vitamin c always follow it up with the sunscreen and today i'm using the neutrogena hydro boost sunscreen with spf 50 i'd always recommend to get a sunscreen which has spf 30 30 or above so I'm applying it all over my face and neck area and this one doesn't feel greasy at all it has a very nice hydrating agent which feels very light on skin and next I went with the concealer directly this is the Huda Beauty Overachiever concealer this one is a very high coverage concealer and uh, I'd say if you have very dark or intense dark circle or any kind of pigmentation then you can go with any color corrector first like the orange or red one depending on how intense your pigmentation is and then you can go with the concealer so at first i use the concealer because i don't have uh, that kind of pigmentation right now so i used a full coverage concealer i think that does the job for me and i used a concealer brush to blend it because you may already know a brush will always give you better coverage uh, in compared to a wet beauty blender so especially when i'm skipping foundation i always stick to a concealer brush and now it's time to set my face with any powder product so i picked the mac studio fix powder foundation in shade nc40 but if you want you can choose any 
compact powder of your choice that also works equally good and now i'm going to be using this cream blush by colourpop and at first i warmed up the blush on the back of my hand and then i used my fingertips to apply it nowadays i'm loving cream blushes i think uh, it adds very nice glow as well as adequate amount of tint on your skin and now i'm using a powder product this is the hula bronzer by benefit and uh, i'm applying on all the regular spots and for today's eye makeup i started off with the same bronzer and i applying it on all over the eyelids and it will add a very nice subtle depth to my eyes and then i'm gonna go with this eyeliner pencil by illegal this one is really very pigmented and what i love the most about this pencil is the formula it's very creamy so you get time to work on it and uh, as you can see i smudged the line afterwards using a dain smudge brush and that's pretty much all i did for today's eyes and at the end i used that bronzer all over again to make sure everything is looking seamless and after this i'm going to be using the concealer to clean up underneath the wing it will give it more sharper edge and then i blended it with the same concealer brush now here is something i like to do but if you want you can completely skip i like to add a very tiny wing in the inner corner so for that i used a brush tip liner by maybelline and then i filled up the waterline using that same illegal gel eyeliner and now it's time to curl the lashes this is something is must everyone should do this tip and next i'm gonna go with my new favorite mascara by makeup revolution it's their 5d lashes extra dimension mascara it separates the lashes very well and you can see it's adding a generous amount of volume as well as length and that was all about the eye makeup and now i'm setting my skin with the help of a wet beauty blender but i sprayed mac fix plus onto the blender so it will lock everything on place and now i'm gonna go with the highlighter but it's an optional step if you want you can skip it but i like to add a little bit of highlighter so that was the mac highlighter i'm gonna put all the details in the description box and now i'm lining my lips with the maybelline lip liner in shade chocolate and again i'm using another maybelline matte lipstick in the shade nude nuance i think aligning your lips with a deeper shade always give you that illusion of bigger plumpier lips so try not to skip it unless you have a big or plumpy lips naturally and now i'm gonna do my hair although what i'm gonna do is more like setting the hair rather than styling because i'm gonna use a straightener just to tame down the baby hair in the front and naturally i have straight hair so i didn't straight the entire hair because that would be more harmful so at first i used a heat protectant spray that's always a must even if you were just blow drying your hair never ever skip on that and now with accessories i went very minimal but on point at least that's how i like to believe so this is the earring i own it's from primark it's very uh, pocket friendly but you can see the design is super classy i saw dior has this kind of design and next uh, i'm gonna be wearing my regular watch it's from tommy hilfiger and that was all about the accessories and now i'm gonna jump into the perfume which is a very important part of my day-to-day -day life i think perfume can make you feel more confident and feel good instantly so today i'm gonna be using this perfume from a brand called dossier i got both the perfume very recently and i loved everything about it and they are claiming it to be a dupe of high-end perfumes and the best part is they're very very affordable and also made with clean ingredients i'm gonna be leaving a discount code in my description box don't forget to check that out and here is the last thing which i had to add on is a mini crossbody bag you can use any kind of bag whichever you like and uh, here is the entire outfit and the shoe it's a leather loafer from coach and uh, it's all about today's video if you like watching it don't forget to hit the like button and please make sure to subscribe before you leave i'll be back with the next one till then bye bye Take care.